Angiography is a type of x-ray used to look at blood vessels, but unlike a regular x-ray, it uses a special dye to make those vessels visible. My name is Dr. James Donovan, and if your doctor has recommended an angiography, or you're just curious about what the test involves, then this video is going to guide you through the key things that you need to know. In this video, we're going to cover what angiography is and why it's done, how to prepare for the test, what happens during the procedure, what to expect afterwards, and finally, the risks and when to seek help. So what exactly is angiography? Well, angiography is a medical test that uses x-rays to look at how blood flows through your vessels. Because blood vessels don't show up clearly on a normal x-ray, a special dye that's called a contrast agent is injected into your bloodstream. This helps to highlight any areas that might be narrowed, blocked, or damaged. The x-ray images produced during this test are known as angiograms. So now let's take a look at why an angiography is used. Well, your doctor might recommend an angiography to help diagnose, investigate, or plan treatment for a range of conditions, such as narrowing of the arteries, known as atherosclerosis, peripheral arterial disease, which affects blood flow to your legs, aneurysms, which is a bulging or ballooning in the wall of a blood vessel, including those in the brain, angina, which is most commonly chest pain caused by a reduced blood flow to the heart, blood clots or a pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in the lung, or problems with blood flow to the kidneys. Now, there are also different types of angiography depending on what part of the body is being checked, like coronary angiography from the heart or cerebral angiography for the brain. So let's talk about how to prepare for your angiography. Well, before the test, you might be invited to the hospital for an appointment to check that the angiography is safe for you. Now, this could involve a physical examination and some blood tests, talking through any allergies or medications that you're taking, and deciding whether you'd like a sedative to help you relax on the day. Now, if you do opt for sedation, you'll be asked not to eat for a few hours before the test, and you'll need to arrange for someone to take you home afterwards because you won't be able to drive yourself. So what happens during the procedure? Well, on the day of your angiography, you'll change into a hospital gown and lie on an x-ray table. And here is what typically happens. You'll stay awake, but you might be given medicine to help you relax, as I mentioned earlier. A small cut is made usually in your groin or wrist, and the area is numbed with a local anesthetic. A long, thin tube called a catheter is inserted into one of your arteries, and then it is carefully guided to the area being examined. A contrast dye is then injected through the catheter. As the dye flows through your blood vessels, a series of x-rays are taken. You might feel a warm, flushed sensation when the dye goes in, and a brief feeling like you need to pee, but this usually passes quickly. Now, sometimes treatment can be done at the same time, for example, using a balloon or a stent to open up a narrowed artery. This is called an angioplasty. Now, the whole procedure can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. It'll vary depending on the individual. So what happens after the test? Well, once the x-rays are complete, the catheter is removed and pressure is applied to the area to stop any bleeding. You won't usually need stitches. You'll then go to a recovery area where you'll need to lie still for a few hours. This helps to reduce the risk of bleeding where the catheter was inserted. Now, most people are able to go home the same day, although some might need to stay overnight. When you're at home, you need to rest for the remainder of the day and ideally have someone with you for 24 hours afterwards. You can eat and drink once you feel ready and drinking water helps to flush out the dye. You should avoid heavy lifting or strenuous exercise for a few days and you'll likely have some bruising and mild soreness for a few days. That is completely normal. Now, this was just a general overview of what a typical procedure might involve, but it will vary for every person and each hospital is likely to have a slightly different protocol. So always ask your own team for specific information. So now let's cover some of the risks and side effects. Well, angiography is generally a safe test, but like any procedure, it does carry a few risks. Most people only have minor side effects. So things like bruising or tenderness around the area where the cath went in, a small lump or collection of blood under the skin, and these usually settle on their own within a few days or weeks. 
in rare cases, more serious complications could occur. Now, these include an allergic reaction to the dye, damage to a blood vessel, kidney problems, or in very rare cases, a heart attack or stroke. But your medical team will only recommend angiography if they think the potential benefits clearly outweigh any risks. And they should always go through the risks with you so that you can make your own informed decision about whether or not to proceed with the investigation. Now, before we finish this video, when should you seek medical advice? Well, you should contact your hospital team or GP or family medicine doctor if the cut starts bleeding and doesn't stop after you apply pressure for at least 15 minutes, you've got severe pain that isn't easing with painkillers, the area where the cut was made becomes hot, red or swollen because this could mean infection, or the limb where the catheter went in feels cold, pale or very different to your other arm or leg. Now, these symptoms are rare, but it's important to get help if they happen. If you found the video helpful, please feel free to share it or please do leave a comment below if you've got any questions. And if you've had angiography yourself and you want to share your own experiences, please do share them in the comment section of this video to help others. Thanks for watching and take care.